everyone, this is Joe Gamble back again uh, to talk more about the Fry at Power Station. And in this video, we're going to begin to address some of the commonly asked questions that we get through tech support. And in this installment, uh, we're going to talk about this thing that we could refer to as a mystery squealing. Um, so what are we talking about? Well, uh, the, the short version would be that uh, we get some concerns sometimes that people, while operating their power station, uh, when they get their guitar close to their power station amp combo, um, that they get this sort of squeal happening that sounds like this. So back when I was a kid, you know, growing up listening to Jimi Hendrix bootlegs, you know, I would pay close attention to uh, the different types of feedback that he would summon out of his rig. And um, of course there was kind of the normal, like maybe more musical type of feedback, you know, these sustained notes that uh, were obviously a result of manipulating, you know, intentional manipulation of the strings and the fuzz and the wah and that sort of thing. But occasionally it would get interrupted by sort of a jarring kind of feedback that seemed like maybe it wasn't intentional. It wasn't until I started playing through big loud amps myself that I was able to notice this phenomenon that would happen when my guitar would get close to the amplifier, I'd get this sort of feedback that was totally different than the type that I was normally trying to achieve. And I never knew what to call it until recently when I was speaking to uh, Steve Fryette about it. And he illustrated that you know, while the normal type of feedback that we're trying to get is like the interaction between the pickups and what's coming out of the speaker, whereas what we're talking about today is more the squeal that's caused by uh, your pickups being in close proximity to the output transformer of your amplifier. So before we go any further, I just want to clarify that this sound isn't the result of any sort of defect with the power station or the amplifier that you're using or by using them both together in conjunction. You're not going to harm your gear in any way, you know, so you can rest easy with the squealy. Um, it's just uh, electrons and magnetic field stuff rattling around together and we just get to hear the result of it because we're inducing it by using sound reproduction equipment at high volumes. So what's happening here is that the output transformer is vibrating in sympathy with the magnetic field that it's producing. So as you get your guitar closer to the amplifier that's being heavily attenuated by the power station or even being played at a loud volume, you're inducing this uh, magnetic feedback loop. So your pickups are literally picking up on the magnetic field and the vibration that's radiating out from the transformer, thus producing this squeal feedback sound. All right, so I'm going to show you how all this stuff works, but first we want to keep a few things in mind. Uh, number one, just like normal feedback, um, the more high end that we dump into the signal, the more susceptible things are going to be to this phenomenon. You know, if we think back to the Jimi Hendrix example, when he wanted things to really explode, he'd step on his wah pedal and cock the thing forward, you know, dumping tons of high end in, and uh, that's when everything would really shriek and howl and, 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 and squeal, right? Because everything's just a lot more sensitive and susceptible like that. All right, number two, uh, single coil pickups are going to be a lot more prone to this sort of thing because they're a lot more sensitive with the high end information. You know, so if you're using humbuckers, uh, you may be able to get a little bit closer to the amplifier without experiencing this. But uh, you know, if you're basically sitting on top of your amp, you're already running in the high risk category anyway. So make of that what you will. All right, and number three, the more gain that you use, uh, the more sensitive your rig is going to be to all this stuff. You know, gain is compressing and boosting everything. So you're going to be more susceptible to feedback shenanigans across the board. Got it? Okay, let's make some noise. All right, so this first example is going to show you that the guitar plugged straight into the amplifier at high volumes is going to produce this effect. Okay, so the power station is not in the chain at this point. It's just the guitar plugged into the amplifier and we're way loud and it sounds like this. Okay, I don't want to do that again uh, and nobody around me does either. So um, we're going to patch in the power station and with the power section of the power station, we're going to bring the volume down. Uh, but because the volume of the amplifier hasn't changed, the output transformer is still going to be vibrating with the magnetic field sauce enough to make it squeal like this. All right, so while we're at it, let's see what happens when we use the more reactive modes of the power station. Okay, so right now I have, I'm running it uh, in flat mode, you know, for the high end. And so uh, let's turn the guitar up and I'm gonna switch to bright mode and then edge mode and we'll see what happens. Should be interesting. So flat, bright, and edge. So it's just like that phenomenon I was talking about before with, you know, Hendrix using his wah, you know, so it's like, you know, single coils plus high end plus more gain. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty good recipe for, you know, some pretty intense squeal and feedback stuff. 
All right, so to take things just a little bit further, let's plug a gain pedal in to goose things a little bit and see what happens. All right, so we can see, once we understand how this stuff works, that um, it's pretty predictable behavior and nothing to really be alarmed about. All right, now finally, just for comparison's sake, we wanna show you that the same exact thing will happen when we use an old school, tried and true resistive attenuator. You know, we wanna put your mind at ease once and for all that this stuff doesn't just happen when you're running your power station. Okay, so we have an OG hot plate here, and we're gonna see that it does the same song and dance as the guitar amplifier no attenuator example, the same as the guitar amp power station example, and now we have the guitar amp hot plate example, and it goes a little something like this. And duplicating the exact same squeal we got with the power station. All right, so in short, we just wanna put your mind at ease should you ever encounter the sound while operating your power station. It's just a perfectly natural occurrence when operating a transducer next to a magnetic field. And it won't hurt your power station, it won't hurt your amplifier, and honestly, the only thing it might hurt is your ears. So thanks so much for checking out this video, and I hope you tune in next time when we discuss dreaded ground loop noises and solutions for their eradication. And like always, please like, subscribe, and press that bell icon thingy if you want to be notified when we upload more content like this. And until then, cheers, and see you next time.